coolest reviews. The funnest shit. Nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grip's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middlestore. Living in the Hall of Fame. Woo, woo, woo. With this awesome steel cage. It's from Mattel. It's the classic steel cage playset. Exclusive to Target. And figures cannot perform moves as shown. Well, what the fuck? What else would I want them to do? Fucking ballet? Dumb bastards. It comes with a steel cage and a wrestling ring. Figures not included. Fuck you! $50 for a fucking piece of plastic? Pricks. You could have at least given me a Hogan and a Warrior. How the hell am I supposed to have a match with no fucking figures? Failed it. Oh, look. Try me. (laughs) And you can put your finger right in there. Don't you wish, like, Lana figures came with one of these? You could put your fingers right in her pussy. It could say, try me, right over her asshole. You could be like, eh, eh. (laughs) On the bullshit on the back of the box, these assholes want to make it perfectly clear that figures are not included, even though they show this awesome Ultimate Warrior, which you can't even fucking find no more. What a waste! Look at him doing some type of monkey dance, dangling out of the cage. (laughs) He's the only awesome guy who can make Hulk Hogan do a backflip. Because at my age, brother, my feet don't leave the ground, dude. (laughs) But apparently, the broken back bastard is flipping the fuck out of the back of the cage. Spring-loaded mat. Oh, no wonder he could accomplish the broken back back (laughs) flip. Set up an epic classic steel cage match. Well, you know we're going to do that, motherfucker. Pro tension ropes for incredible moves. What? Do stupid! You said right on the fucking front of the box. Look it. Look what it says. Figures cannot perform moves as shown. But then it's going to tell me that the ropes can make them do shit? Failed it. Uh-oh. This box has a rumbly stomach. I have a feeling it's going to take a big shit right on our floor. Ugh. Come on, cunt. Holy fuck! Come out of the box, shithead! Come on! There we go. Where the fuck is the cage? Give me the cage, you cunt! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking snap! There's the ring ropes. Fucking beat the shit out of this box. Fuck you! Give me the cage! Eat my asshole! There we go. See? Violence solves everything. Okay, now that we got all the parts out of the package, let's see what we got here. These are the ring clips. They apparently hold the cage onto the ring. Dumb directions for dipshits who don't know what they're doing. Fuck you, we're awesome. We don't need no directions. Ooh, classic WWF, well, WWE stickers. <laughs> and then we got ring posts with the red, white, and blue ropes. <laughs> I am a real American. And then we got, oh, look at this. Look how cool. We got blue, solid steel, plastic cage sides. We're going to put this whole fucking ring together. And it's going to kick all kinds of ass. First thing we got to do, put on the ring ropes. Second thing we're going to do... Wait a minute, these cocksuckers didn't include any fucking stickers for the ring curtain? Bastards. What a waste! Putting this shit together is easy enough. The ring post cock fucks the ring vagina right here like so. I <laughs> can't get it in the hole! <laughs> get it in the hole! That's what she said. It's cute that they think I would waste my time putting all these little W's on every fucking turnbuckle. Ain't nobody got time for that! <laughs> Put the classic ring together. It was easy enough. If you don't know how to do this, I feel fucking bad for you. Eh. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, cool. Nipple clips. But no, seriously, do not put them on your tits, especially on your girlfriend or something. They go right here on the ring cocks. One there and one goes right about. Yeah. And they go on all four corners of the ring cocks. Pick up one side of the solid steel cage and you take, see, right there and right there where it's indented. And you put it right here on these tiny little nipple clips. And once you finish all four sides, to finish it off, all you gotta do is buckle the bitch right here at the top. Like this. Get in there, you shit bastard. Oh, come on. Come on, whore! There we go. Now it's in. And we're ready to rumble! Look at it. It actually looks pretty damn cool. Right? Not too bad. Now look, it's got this cool little door here that flops open like this. But... I don't know. It's a basic size ring from Mattel. This is the shit they shove down our throats, people. Wicked Cool Toys is making a much bigger one. Elite scale. It comes with custom ring aprons. And guess what? If you order the one from Ringside Collectibles, with discount code Grimm at checkout to save 10%, you get an extra bonus ring apron. It kicks all kinds of ass. Or you could pick up this shit at Target. Now, let's play. In my opinion, trying to play with this playset is kind of a pain in the ass because if you wanted to put both your hands down in here 
with the figures, there's not enough room because it's too small. It's like trying to fit your fat fingers down a canister of Pringles. What a waste. And I always thought that cage matches were really cool, except for one thing. I hate the fact that to win, you can climb over the top or escape out the door. No, you should have to fight and beat the guy inside the cage. And I mean, if you're Yokozuna, what are you supposed to do? He can't climb the cage. He'd stand here like this and... Eh, eh, eh. He could never do it. The poor fat fuck couldn't even fit out the door. <laughs> fatty, fatty, two by four, couldn't fit out this steel cage door. What a waste! What you gonna do, brother, when your fat ass can't squeeze through, dude? Thanks for watching the video! Click this one right here in case you missed something funny! And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe! Follow Mala! Nailed it!